On August 28, 29 and 13, 1862, the Union and Confederate armies collided for a second time in little over a year on the fields of Manassas. The first meeting saw a green Union army fleeing for its life on the roads to Washington. Now, 13 months later, a confident and arrogant Union General John Poe bragged that he would destroy the Confederate army in short order. Unfortunately for Pope, Southern General Robert E. Lee was now in command of the Army of Northern Virginia. Second Manassas would be one of Lee's most decisive victories. It was approximately 5.45 p.m. when Gibbon's brigade neared the open fields of John Brown's farm along Warrington Turnpike. As Gibbon looked to his north, he noticed horsemen near the Brown's farmhouse and wondered if they could be enemy cavalry. Moving up the pike to gain a better view, Gibbon saw revelatory pieces unlimbering for action. Within a few minutes, at least two rebel batteries fired on King's division, which was still in marching columns that extended for nearly a mile along the turnpike. Gibbon soon had his own battery B, 4th US artillery, which was attached to his brigade, moved to a knoll a few hundred yards east of Brauner farmhouse. The ground shook with the wrath of the confronting batteries, one Union officer noted. 